so many of us have invisible conditions that it's really hard for the wider public to understand how many genuinely sick or disabled people there are because our perception of disability is all about wheelchairs and white sticks, not women who are interested in high heels and makeup. If you can't wash or dress yourself or feed yourself properly, then without that help, life is a constant battle. But if that help's provided by the local authority, it means your life changes and you start looking more optimistically at things like work. And if you can't find paid work, how do you give back to your community in other ways? Anybody's life can change in a split second. You never know when someone you love will be diagnosed with cancer or that your child will be born prematurely and need special care or your parents get ill younger than you thought. And it's only when people enter into that situation that they tend to realise how much we rely on the welfare state. People have paid for those benefits all their working lives or they've paid on behalf of their children. And to take that welfare contract away without being very open with the British public that that's what's happening is a serious injustice, whichever political party commits it.